Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dragon Warrior. Damn it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Warrior. We have just defeated a golem and got a wind shard. Wind shard. Whee! It was found. Carry updated. Yep. Nice. Blink away. Opponents of this caliber are mere nuisances. Now, let us head in. Head within. All right, I think we're a little weak, right? Yeah, I think he, he messed us up a little bit. But Oh, uh, but we're going to pop our head in. Yeah, let's, um, we could heal up. Uh, use some of uh, Carrie's magic to... <laughs> heal Mary Bell? Mary Bell! <laughs> um, and maybe Carrie? Yeah. Just to be safe. Just being safe, everybody. Don't worry about it. Okay. Nothing over there. Uh, normally it annoys me when, uh, like, castles or forts, they don't make sense. Uh, but I kind of excuse this because it's kind of the mad logic of, of monsters who I think you need to explain what, I mean, what you mean by not making sense. Okay, like, uh, it doesn't make sense in the universe for this place to exist because, you know, the forts and stuff need to are built to be functional to perform some sort of utility whereas like just like these meandering pathways and ooh, ooh fire shard um but like you you could have some like you know weird hp lovecraft logic uh bronze knife oh give it to maribel um like non euclidean geometry sort of stuff that you could you know, put on the monsters that built this, built this tower. Yeah, but I mean, like, also in like, like um, some architecture, like of castles, it is meant to be disorienting and confusing right. for but that's, the very that's... purpose of disorienting and confusing people invading it. Yeah. So I mean, it, so I think know. there is some creative freedom and wiggle room to kind of go. You know, you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit. But you can also kind of push that along by saying, well, you know, it was designed this way to be weird. Yeah. Hmm. Do I go over to the other side? I'm not sure. There's I... more stairs up. Hmm. Okay. I feel like we're missing something. Yeah. Oh, and what sucks in this, um, yeah, when we miss a shard, that's detrimental. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to really scrounge the bottoms of the earth if you miss something. Um, not that we couldn't, at a later point, go back and get it if we knew exactly the one we were missing. <laughs> I think we could just hop off the edge here uh, if we wanted to, can't we? Yeah, I believe that's right. You're a winger. Cool enemy. Uh, it was so neat. Uh, we were talking uh, last episode or the episode before about um, enemy design and if I can imagine like those enemies being part of an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And it was so neat to be playing Dragon Quest XI and seeing these e seeing these enemies just out in the, the, the forest like animals. Like mm -hmm. they're just like living out there. And that was really neat to see. Yeah. Like I think that is a testament to the design because of of Dragon Warrior enemies because, like yeah, you know they are. Hmm. They are cartoonish. Maybe they aren't believable in some ways. Like, I don't think I can get around. I, they probably want you to try it, right? Why I else? think I'm gonna fall off. Oh shoot. I don't know, maybe I could get around the other way. Maybe down here. Oh. Huh. Oh. Here. Um. You know, like, the uh, Dragon Quest XI using, the, like, so many of the same designs, yet making them believable in that real... Not realistic, necessarily, is maybe the wrong description, but... Grounded. Yeah, grounded logical world 
Nice. Uh, another game that I think did that beautifully. Ooh, Def Seed. Def Seed Records. Hmm. Oh, it's a good name. Um, was Final Fantasy Fifteen? Oh yeah, because all of those monster designs were like classics. Like, yeah, like from four. You know, I I, I remember seeing like uh, comparison videos. Am I walking right into a boss? Yeah, that's a boss. Okay. Hmm. Maybe they have something to say. Oh nope. I think we gotta go back up and drop. Yeah, we need to, um... I don't want to lose all this money. Money. We need um, more money. Yeah, and, you know, those designs from Final Fantasy XV were classic Yoshitaka Amino designs from the uh, NES and Super NES Final Fantasy games. Uh, for the most part. Yeah. Like, uh, those, um big uh, I don't even know how you would call them like almost were they yaky or, kind of things like yeah kind of like big round yaks classic they, they had a design. trunk classic classic nice quality quality oh. nice oh sweet we don't even need to spend money to rest anymore dude gonna charge Hank People love Hank. Come on, Hank. Slice off those horrible monsters' limbs and beat them to death. Wow. Nice. People really don't like these monsters, huh? wonder why not. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those fun little details. They didn't have to put this in. Yeah, like, why even? I mean... I wonder if it's like, they're like, oh, that merchant would never charge Hank, but, you know, we need somebody who would. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, we got quite a bit of money. Money. Maybe, uh, this armor for Carrie. Yeah. Carrie. Yes, yes, please. How yes, do you, please. How do you feel about, uh, characters who have their own inventory it's a little bit annoying like a little bit like micromanaging but like I don't mind it for as far as like context wise yeah I've I, I've always been partial myself it just it just feels more naturally realistic than having a giant like unlimited item bag that your party just happens to have constant access to all the time but I mean, you also have that in this. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I guess. Let's see, all right, we can sell this. I think it was in the original Dragon Warrior Four, because before then you didn't have uh, uh, party items. Uh, you just had to whatever your party could carry. That was just it. Uh, but in four. You had a conjoined item thing, but only after you got the um, got the um, the covered wagon that that came along with your party, and you only had access to it outside. Mm -hmm. And that just it's like, oh, what a great way to contextualize that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That your your party items stayed on the wagon. You know. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is a beauty. What a bear. Alright, let's um save it and go beat that boss, huh? Yeah. Everybody cross your fingers. I guess we don't even really need to save it, but I'm not really. I just want to hear that jingle again. Am I right, everybody? Yeah, everybody loves the jingle. It's Thumb like Thumbs up and subscribe if you <laughs> love the jingle. <laughs> it's like that jingle bells rock, everybody. Continue, yes. Do not insert or remove memory card or controller. <laughs> Why does it care about your controller? I'm not sure. Hold on, take care. I mean, PS1 controllers didn't have like any like memory card thing like N64 controllers did. No. Um, I wonder if there was some, you know, it's some weird bug or glitch. If it's not reading a controller, then. This is the original PlayStation looks for 
Yeah, I like it just like distracts the um, the saving process into. Yeah, I'm thinking about something else, kind of deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like maybe at some point it was like some weird exploit. I remember um, Dragon Warrior Seven's like one of the few games I remember using a Game Shark on at one playthrough. <laughs> Oh, I remember that. I remember that. And do you remember yeah. why you couldn't continue? Yep. Because, oh. so, the, the, basically we reached this boss. It was my sister, Jess, and I playing through. And we reached a boss that was, like, just too tough. And we were just too demoralized. And we had this PS1 Game Shark. We must have got it at, like, a garage sale or something. And, uh... I wonder, do I need to go this way again? Is the efficient way of going? Seems like it. Uh, so uh, yeah, game shark. <laughs> and so we use the game shark to get like um, level ninety nine. Yeah, everybody. like level ninety nine, ridiculously high level. And uh, okay, we beat the boss, and everything becomes like trivial. Whatever. We keep going through the story. We're playing for the story, and there's a boss that eventually you have to lose to. Yep. You cannot beat this boss. Narratively, you have to lose to it. And because we were level 99, they simply could not beat us. <laughs> we They could not kill us. And uh, our playthrough was over. <laughs> hey, that kind of looks like um, Meta Knight. Oh. Nice. Crossover. Oh, there is no end to the cowardice of human beings. You came here deliberately knowing that our leader wasn't here, didn't you? Unfortunately for you, I don't need my leader's help to crush mere humans. I can do it all by myself. That's like a moment of like the princesses in another castle. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, our leader isn't here. Okay, so <laughs> well, reset Maribel to normal. I've got really great abs. <laughs> um, oh, it's an exoskeleton. It's not as impressive. It's an abso-skeleton. Um, after this, remember to put a, a Matilda's doll in your inventory. Okay, I think it's in somebody's inventory. Unless it got cleared out. Oh, maybe. Oof. Dang, good thing we went back and rested, huh? What's Hank doing? Hank, where are you, bud? This guy's throwing us a peace sign. <laughs> yeah, he is. Or like a snip snip sign. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling us what's gonna happen after we lose. <laughs> Hank is watching. Hank, help me out, man. Hank feeling the nerves. Oof. Oof. Yeah, time to heal Carrie. Hank! Help me! Uh, uh, heal. Oh, no, uh, cast. Cast. Heal. 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 Carry. Thank you, Maribel. That was nice. To, uh, wish you would have cast that earlier. Oh, Hank. Oh, yeah. Thank you for stepping up. Oh. One damage. The fudge? Is it like defending or something? Uh, what, what was going on there? Okay. Eleven. Yeah, d was I not paying attention and it buffed the way the fuck up? Oh, maybe. And they're j just trying to bring it back down to normal? I wonder if I should heal uh, Maribel. Yeah, better safe than sorry. It's super annoying if a character or party member dies in battle because you have to spend a bunch of money to resurrect them. Yeah, and we had to walk all the way back to town. Later on, like, obviously, you can get spells that can do that to, to resurrect people. But, but much, even then, much later on. Much later, and even then, they're super MP cost. And unreliable. Uh, I don't need to heal right away. <laughs> Hank is watching. God damn it, Hank. Hank has been, like, not very helpful. I thought his name was Helpful Hank. <laughs> Maybe I'll stop burning your magic. It's defending. Uh, I feel like I should heal, but... You know how I am. All offense. Oh, good. Tech tank. I did something. 
<laughs> okay, Hank came through. Hank came through at the end. Klauser. Klauser. Klaus. Klauser. Carrie leveled up. Woot, woot, woot. Additional skills. Blah blah blah. Upper. Nice. Uh, that's like um increases your defense. Oh, is that in buff? Yeah, it's would later be called buff. Death seed. Nice. It's a nest. There's your cunning apes. If you hadn't come while our leader was away, this never would have happened. Our oh, boss. It would appear that the real evil has appeared at last, wouldn't you say? Boss, finish them off, please. I've heard them pretty badly. Boss? Boss? Oh, no, boss! <laughs> oh, snap. I guess I, I scared you, Carrie. Just, but just as he said, I am the root of all evil. <laughs> way to introduce yourself. I am the root of all evil. I am one of the monsters ordered not to let any women return to Rexwood. No. This is my true form. So, remember Joe and I was doing brother, my Randy Savage attempt? Yeah. See, now, now you can do the Randy Savage voice for it. <laughs> However, although I may be a monster, I am not fully devoid of human emotions. When I offered those weeds as a gift to the dead, I truly meant that. Hank's son Patrick awakened my long dormant human side. Silence, beast. I can't even remember Hank's voice now. So, uh, just <laughs> no, silence, beast. I refuse to listen to you. But what is Bemoan. it? Bemoan. Oh. I thought it said, like, beeman, like demon, but with a B. <laughs> Your tragic existence, I'll kill you here and now. Your son could have died saving you in the tower, but he had no perception of danger. It was like when I was tr when I tried to save my older brother. Yeah. Matilda, I see. I thought I had heard that name before. You must be the little sister of Rex, the hero of the village. When I went to find my brother, that the beast began to, to possess me, telling me such awful things. I gradually began to despise the townspeople that betrayed my brother. My hate finally transformed me into this horrible monster. I didn't want your son to share my fate. I do not wish to slay you, for you did save my life. However, if there is no other way, I must. Please. Allow the women to return to the village and restore this island to its original state. I would hate to have to repay your kindness to me with steel. That I cannot do. My very existence is what prevents the women from returning. They will never be able to return as long as I live. In that case, I will not hesitate to strike you down where you stand. I am prepared to meet my fate. No! Shoot, can we, ooh, uh, can we pull an item from our bag? Let's see, so do you six, do five six, six. item? Uh, or quip, maybe? Uh, just go to item. Maybe, uh, death seed. Huh, oh, I guess you can't. That sucks. Oh. Well, cross your fingers, man. Well, if we die, then we can do it on that second attempt. Okay. Um, let's roll. Oh, she's very metal. Yeah, she is. I mean, she's cute. Unless Kiefer had it for some reason. That would be convenient. Yeah, actually, next time, let's, um... Next time. Uh... Uh, manual. Manual, okay. And in case Maribel might have it. I really don't think she does. <laughs> okay, all right. Fight. Fight. Nope. Damn. Damn. Wait, is that all he has in his inventory? Yeah. Can you go up and down or... No, that's it? Fuck. Fuck. Ah, the damn merchant rearranging our stuff. He screwed us. Okay. Well, you should have reminded me before, Andrew. 
I, di I didn't think it would... Hmm. Shoot. Nice, Hank. This could be a tough boss. Um... Wow, she's not attacking us. Oh, maybe that's the the thing. She does in the tank. I, I think eventually she's going to start attacking. Unless I'm mistaken. She wants us to kill her. Oh. Storytelling. For some reason, I thought we had to use her doll on her. Or am I thinking of something completely different? You might be thinking of Gascoigne. Well, I thought of Gascoigne, but I... I could have sworn there's a classic Dragon Quest boss. No, nope. see, so this is like what, there's like another. Um, what's another game that does this? Where? Oh, Suicune Two, like fighting Joey, you know, for like the secret ending. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> um, like where you, basically to get the best ending, you have to keep defending, not fight. Yeah. Well, she's trying to get that ending. Yeah, she's trying. We're Joey in this case. No care. It's kind of sad. It is really sad. Just like beating the skeleton. It's yeah, well, it just doesn't even do anything. Just looks at us. Yeah, I think it's really underlining how fucked up the situation is. Yeah, I like that. Like, that's always one of the great, like, pillars of Dragon Warrior narrative is like it's not afraid to go bleak it's like it almost asks itself what would be the bleakest thing right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a triumph <laughs> yeah I leveled up beating up that skeleton that wasn't fighting us nice <laughs> my appearance I got hotter doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. You shall not suffer any more than you already have. I will deliver peace unto you. Hey, Gary, are you sure this is the way it should be? Whatever the circumstances, Matilda deserves better than this. Uh, can I use this? Can we oh, can we run up and use this uh, doll on her now? Is that what I was thinking of? Okay. Can we do, just run up and then use it? Okay. Before he gets there. Trying to stop me, Carrie? Yes. Yes. Please understand, I do not truly wish to strike down the sister of Rex, for whom our village is named. However, Rex Wood will die unless the women return. If it is the only way to lift the darkness, I must strike this woman down. Hey, come back here. You're really going to cut that woman down? Mary Bill, wasn't it? Thank you. You have a kind heart. Carrie, do you remember where we first met in the forest? Please return to there one last time, and you may find a way home. This is all I can do for you now. Uh, <laughs> Maribel, <laughs> thank you for giving me those flower seeds. They made me happy. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I think he would have just struck her down, right? If we didn't get in her way. I maybe would have missed that scene. Light is restored to the land, but not how you wanted it. The sky is clear and bright, but the clouds in my soul remain. There's no point in talking any further. Let's let us return to the village to see if the women have indeed returned. I wish I could have saved Rex's sister. Thinking about it now won't help anything. Let's get to the village first. Please, I don't feel like talking right now. 
Dang, I guess Kiefer has nothing to say. I got hotter. <laughs> Look at how hot I am. My flexing muscles. So hot. My lackeys think I'm so hot. <laughs> Still monsters around, huh? Yeah. Maribel still sucks. Well, she can use her magic. magic. Except she's out. Illusions, Michael. Hey, the women did indeed return. Let's wait. Let's talk here first. Oh, all right, all right. Oops. Hank, you've returned safely. My husband told me everything. You rescued us from the monsters. Thank you so much. It's too bad I don't remember anything after we were taken away. After we were taken away, we were shot in a really dark, hot room. It was kind of exciting, actually. I don't know if I'd want to do it again, though. <laughs> Hank, my woman's back in the sky's blue again. Here, we're going to start rebuilding the town tomorrow, man. I can't wait. Hot diggity. Hey, you're back. You and Carrie destroyed the monsters in the tower? No. Ha <laughs> ha So all the monsters ran away after taking one look at you, right? All that's left is to rebuild their houses. That's one job I don't mind. I would mind. That seems like a pain in the ass. Hank, look, my wife and daughter are back safely. I can't believe my husband destroyed everything for me and our child. I thought he was just a big drunken sot, but he was his tender side too. Yeah, hoo hoo, yippee! Everybody, everybody's happy. I can't believe you. Look, people are watching us. Not even death will make me let go of you, my wife. There we go. I found uh, Hank's voice. Hello, <laughs> I'm Hank. <laughs> it's really creepy. <laughs> it's really creepy, Hank. 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 Hurt me more, Hank. <laughs> Metal Gear. Hank, you made it. As you can see, the women have returned safely to the village. Without them, our lives would crumble into dismay. Not only did you save the women, Hank, but you gave this town a future again. We know. And with that, everybody, we will call this an episode, and we will see you in a few days. To continue Rexwood, finish it up, finish the chapter... And uh, we hope to see you then. Bye, everybody.